today I'm going to share something really exciting with you. I'm going to try to keep this short. I'm sorry. Um, I received a device that measures the actual amount of bacteria or viruses, any living thing that is on a surface after it's been cleaned. This is commercial grade. This is what food processing plants and all of them use to test after they've cleaned their mixers or jars, whatever. It's, there's the whole thing throughout the assembly line and they routinely test every day to make sure all their equipment is clean after they've cleaned it, okay? So this, I swab things, I put it in here, 15 seconds later, I get a reading. I'm gonna do a scientific video so you'll be able to see later um, when I do this again. Um, I tested um, raw bacon on a plate um, and I cleaned it with um, the light degreasing, which is, so, Young Living's Thieves Cleaner. This is the concentrate. You only use a small amount, okay? And the light degreasing, I do one capful, which is one and a half teaspoons of the concentrate to 20 ounces of water. And then I do the heavy degreasing, which is, again, one and a half teaspoons, one capful, and one cup of water, okay? I've always used the heavy degreasing, the strongest strength, for whenever I use raw meat on, you know, in case it drips on the counter, etc. And I clean it twice. I like to be sure. Okay. Well, now I know absolutely for sure how freaking well Young Living's natural cleaner works. Amazing. Okay. So here's the rundown. Anything from zero to 10 is clean. Does not need to be sanitized. It does, I mean, it doesn't need to be cleaned and sanitized again. Okay. It's a pass. And that is acceptable for direct food contact. Meaning if I clean, if I rub that raw bacon, like I did on a plate, cleaned it with the heavy degreasing, which I did, I got a reading of four, four, okay? The light degreasing was 10. Perfectly acceptable to literally lick that plate now after I rubbed raw bacon on it. Crazy, okay? The um, cardboard box, of the raw bacon, by the way, was 1,062, okay? That was just one corner of the box that I swabbed, 1,062, okay? 50-50 of vinegar and water did six, and like I said, light degreasing, degreasing was 10, okay? 10 and under, great. The gray area is 11 to 30, uh, depending on whether it's food direct food contact or not, is whether you would need to re-clean it or not, okay? Um, let's see here. 31 is an absolute fail, period. And let's see here, I did raw chicken on a big plate. I was curious, okay? Rubbed it on there, wiped off the liquid stuff, and then tested it, 8,895. Okay, almost 8,900 was the reading, okay? And then I did, because um, I didn't have all night, I did the um, heavy degreasing. I cleaned it twice like I normally do. I spray it, wiped it down, threw it away, the paper towel, um, wiped it, sprayed it, wiped it, threw it away, six, six. After having almost a, almost $9,000, or $9,000, 9,000 reading of bacterial, of live organisms that it would detect it, okay? Then um, I did the same thing, put the um, raw chicken, rubbed it all over, cleaned off the juices, threw it away, Lysol, okay? Lysol. Sprayed the sucker good, saturated it, wiped it down, threw the paper away, sprayed it again, wiped it down, threw it away, tested it. Do you wanna know what the reading is? 65. 65 is not acceptable. You cannot eat off of that at all. That's bad. 31 is the fail rate. So no one uses Lysol the way the directions actually say, or bleach for that matter. I had to go and actually buy these two things. I had to go to the store, well, the convenience store, gas station, because nothing was open yesterday. It was New Year's Eve or New Year's Day to buy these because I don't have these in my house. I only, <coughs> only use the natural cleaner. <laughs> That's just from having that crap around me. <coughs> um, because I do not like the scent of it and everything else that's going on um, and all the crap that's getting into your lungs, okay? The directions say... To, say, to saturate it, leave it wet three minutes and let it air dry. Who sprays this stuff? Let it sit wet. So you have to add more if it's not wet in three minutes and then like 
just leaves it. You don't. And it says 10 minutes for certain other things. 10 minutes, you have to leave it wet and let it air dry. Bleach, same thing, 10 minutes. Who leaves bleach and Lysol lying around wet on your counters, your toilets? You're gonna sit on bleach? No. Um, your doorknobs, everything else that the kids are taking now putting in their mouth. No, no. I didn't wait because that's not how anybody uses it. So I didn't test it with the full directions the way it was instructed because that's how nobody, I don't know anybody who does that and waits and leaves chemicals wet laying around for their pets, their babies, everything to get into. No, 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 no. So I sprayed it, cleaned it just like I did with the thieves cleaners and I didn't wait. I didn't soak it. I didn't let it set anything. I just cleaned it like I normally do and it is clean people better than Lysol. Okay. I did bleach straight. I didn't dilute it or anything. I'm going to do in my next video when I do everything, one long video that's all very scientific based. I did bleach straight. Do you want what the rating is? Three. Three. So, you decide whether the chemical smell and the stuff that you're breathing in and your, the fumes and everything else that you're hurting your kids and your pets and everything is worth it to have actually less cleaning effectiveness because no one does bleach straight. So I will do it in the next video. The half cup to one gallon, as it says. But I'm not going to let it wait. Because we all just spray it, clean it, and go. And we'll find out what those results are for that bleach being diluted like that. All right. So know that you are using a incredible program. Because I have the test results to prove it. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. And um, later on, I'll get to doing the full scientific video and you can watch and make sure that nothing was changed, okay? So it is all on the up and up. I am extremely impressed. My husband is super impressed. My husband's a physician and he was very curious about this too. So I have fun being a nerd. So anyway, enjoy the results and feel confident in what you're using. This is 100% plant-based, plant-derived and essential oils. Use it. It smells great. And it works freaking awesome. All right. See you later. Bye.